major another major development on the Donegal Railway uh, in the railcar fleet was in 1934 after the uh, success of railcars 7 and 8 the first diesel engine uh, railcars to operate in the uh, British Isles uh, nine, 9 and 10 railcars 9 and 10 were reverted back to petrol engine in fact they were uh, adapted from old uh, buses a pair of old buses and were quite undistinguished in their looks and uh, very similar to some of the earlier uh, petrol engine rail cars but in 1934 uh, number 12 was introduced now you'll be wondering where number 11 has gone to well number 11 um, was allocated in the rail car uh, listing to a diesel engine tractor unit which I'll uh, cover in a uh, separate video that was called Phoenix so number 12 emerges in 1934 and it's it's the result of quite a lot of design work in Dundalk and feedback by Henry Forbes and here is number 12 at Dirk Bridge Halt that's the summit of the of the line uh, very rarely was there any were there any passengers uh, to pick up or put down here uh, but nevertheless a little halt right up in the middle of nowhere I don't think there was a building in sight I certainly haven't included any in this uh, first stage of my model of the of the County Donegal Railway system now the um, it's it has a four uh, coupled power bogey and the wheels are coupled together at the front by uh, side rods you can see there the side rods and we'll see those let's set it going it's had enough of uh, being at Doe Bridge Hall and it's setting off to head towards uh, into the into the gap so there it goes picks up speed quite quickly and you can see the counter counterweights on the wheels spinning round and the luggage on the roof bits and pieces and it's got a 6L2 Gardener diesel engine uh, and um, altogether the, the power bogey and the cab was built by Walker Brothers in Wigan and the um, uh, that was all shipped over and the body arrived um, from Dundalk um, at Strabane in uh, February uh, 1934 and the two parts were fitted together at at um, uh, at Strabane to produce an overall length of about 42 feet and a body the actual passenger body is about 31 feet long and it cost about well just over 2200 pounds and it's seated uh, 41 passengers so it's a major advance and it looks beginning to look much more like a modern rail car but you'll notice that it's a half cab rail car it's like the old um, London, uh, the old style London Routemaster buses with the driver sitting in this little narrow cab and uh, it's also to give more uh, cooling around the radiator for the radiator and for the engine uh, but these always ran you know they, they were, temperature on these was always a, a, a problem and um, often they ran with the, the radiator covers the engine covers uh, fully up and number 12 lasted until 1959 right the way through to closure and it ran just under a million miles on this little narrow gauge system which is pretty impressive and it survives to this day it's preserved in Derry and it's part of what was the Foyle Valley um, Railway uh, Museum and it's still there safe and um, hopefully for too long you'll be able to go along and see it again so number 12 is really a very significant uh, rail car it's actually based on another rail car or it's inspired by another rail car which Forbes saw as part of his um, job of going around to various other railways as a consultant and I'll come on to that uh, when we when we uh, go a bit further on in this history of the rail cars but there we are there's number 12 diesel engine and here it is running towards the gap very prominent gap in the Blue Stack Mountains the Barnsmore Barnesmore basically means the big gap uh, mountains in, in the Barnsmore gap in the the mountains here's the uh, the road which has been substantially upgraded i suppose you could call it um today it's more like a racing track now and the hills are, are now covered with um uh, wind generators wind farm uh, generators but there's number 12 it would have traveled um, a fair bit faster than that in the in heading through the gap and would really 
have been quite a comfortable ride but you can see that the track is going to swing right the way around and then up onto the side of the gap so there we are there's number 12 and it forms the basis of uh, a number of rail cars which now begin to appear on the Donegal railway system.